Axio SEX 10 Pro right here. We gotta get this thing assembled. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Let's go. No kidding guys, it has been a while since I've put a kit together. What I'm after here is pretty much a step-by-step -step build of this truck. So I'm really looking forward to getting this thing built. Uh, just trying to get a peek at the instructions here. Looks like we start out with the axles. Nice. All new design too. All right, let's get going. To start this off, we're building the front axle and I will be doing AMS or axle mounted servo. Check it out guys, there's your axle tubes right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is your servo on axle mount right here. Nice molded piece right there. Um, starting out with the ring and pinions. So far, this is a seriously beefy housing. I had to really work on it to get these to go into place. So everything fits nice and tight. Um, very good install so far. And the axle assemblies are done. Uh, these things are awesome. Absolutely awesome. In stock form, they've got a ton of weight with the steel tubes and all that. So, yeah, plenty there. Next, we have the shocks. As I'm building these shocks by Axial, I'm sure everybody's wondering, will the DravTech springs work? Well, it's possible, but they are different diameters. Now, at the shock body, these springs fit perfectly. All right, the draft tech springs, not so much. You can force them and make them go like that. So maybe, I mean, but they're not exactly the same. And it's the same way down here at the shock bottoms. So can they be made to work? I think, sure. But they are not identical springs at all.
I tell you what guys, these are a very smooth shock. Very smooth. Of course, I added some oil to the O-rings, which you're kind of supposed to, right? Very smooth shock. It comes with 35 weight oil. It comes with two of these. And considering how much oil these actually take, uh, yeah, we're probably not even gonna use half of one. Now, there is no bladder to these, okay? So it's gonna be an emulsion shock, like say, uh, yes, it's, it's dry right now. Uh, putting the shocks like this, when you get full compression, you may actually end up with air bubbles, depending on how full the shock is. If you mount the shock upside down like this, and this is where you generally ride with your vehicle, which generally is kind of where we ride ours, here the fluid is down here at the bottom and so is the piston. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these together just like the kit says, and I'm gonna, when I put the oil in here, I'm gonna have the shock compressed pretty much like all the way there when I put the cap down. This way you don't end up in a hydro lock. Hydro lock is when you have too much oil in the shock and it like bottoms out, like say right there, it won't go in any further. That means you've got the shock shaft actually has a displacement and that displacement is where you need the air or a bladder. This is like I said, an emulsion shock, so there is no bladder. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and fill this thing up. Perfect. Full compression, full extension. It actually has a little bit of vacuum in there right now. At full extension, of course. With the shocks done, now it's time to move into the transmission. And this is where things get fun. This is a little bit of a complicated transmission, so I'm gonna try to show it all. If you guys notice, I haven't greased anything. Partly because I wanted to, uh, you know, not get too greasy. But now that we're ready to go, guess what? Time to grease it. Because now it goes into this. This has both a 20 spline for like a micro servo and a 25 spline servo horn. 
included. This is where your microserver is going to go right here. Instead, for this video, this is going in. This is your manual selector. I missed this on one of the previous steps. So um, I have to take that off so I could easily get this on. And now I'm just simply going to put that back in place like you just saw. When shifting this, and the back is your one-to-one. -one. When you go forward with it, that's your like your 40% underdrive. I know earlier in the video I said overdrive. That's just kind of common terminology. But this underdrives the back. It does not overdrive the front. And what this does is it gives you better control when you're crawling. When you overdrive the front, you try to make the entire vehicle speed up. So in essence, you're kind of like uh, changing the overall gearing and all that, which, yeah, that's over, that's over and under. But anyway, with this right here, underdriving the back, it helps your gearing. It will slow the vehicle down as well. Axomonted Servo, here we are. Now it's time for the drive shafts. These are standard issue drive shafts on almost any truck. So I will put one of them together real quick for you. Time for lower links on the skid plate. It's about to start looking like something. It's finally time for the chassis. There's the chassis right there. Now, as far as putting the other side together, it was the same exact thing as this side over here. So I just kind of got that done, but it is very rigid. I mean, like that is a very solid frame. Really impressed with that.
Guys, <laughs> we made it. We made it. Whoo, servo on axle, axle mounted servo. Man, that is like just how it like, you know, shows. Then we get to pick our electronics. Uh, wow. <laughs> Can't believe it. I made it. That's awesome. Well, here we are at the end of an epic build. Holy moly. If you're still watching, you are really hardcore. Um, i tell you what. So here it is, all done. Now I get to start messing with the electronics. And you guys have seen everything, right? So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got to see what you needed to see in case you had an issue. And guys, catch you if later. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.